first, I would like to say that when it comes to how to respect national sovereignty and territorial integrity, the U.S. may not have the qualification to tell China what to do. As for national sovereignty and territorial integrity, Chinese people feel strongly about it. Since modern times, Chinese people were subject to foreign aggression and colonization. We have a, tra a sad memory of uh, the humiliating past. Uh, just over 20 years ago, our embassy to the Yugoslavia Federation was bombed by NATO, where three Chinese journalists died and many people were injured. And still today, we are seeing the real threat of uh, certain U.S. allies, blatant interference in China's in internal affairs on Xinjiang, Hong Kong, and Taiwan question, and trying to undermine China's sovereignty and security. China is the only permanent member of the Security Council that has not achieved full reunification. That is why China has been firmly upholding the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, basic norms governing international relations, maintaining its sovereignty, security, and territorial integrity, and upholding international fairness and justice. On the contrary, the U.S., within uh, less than 250 years of history, only have 20 years without foreign aggression. The pretext would be democracy or human rights or a vial of detergent or disinformation. They have different understanding of the uh, of other countries' sovereignty and territorial integrity. I believe the world can see this clearly.